Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another week of videos. So, I don't know about you guys, but I am really looking forward to seeing some butterflies outside. I haven't seen any yet, but I really want to see them. They're beautiful, there's so many different types. But one of the questions that I think many people have is, what is a butterfly? So I'm going to read a book about what a butterfly is. So it's called, What is a Butterfly? Hey, look at that. It's a butterfly. A butterfly? What is a butterfly? I'll tell you. I know a lot about butterflies. Would you believe a butterfly was once a caterpillar? Let me explain. Caterpillar? Look at the eggs on this leaf. Many of these eggs will hatch. When an egg hatches, a tiny caterpillar crawls out. Look at that. Look, there's an egg hatching. See the tiny caterpillar coming out? There it is. Look, there are many kinds of caterpillars. Some are very colorful. Let me tell you more about caterpillars. A caterpillar's body is made up of 14 parts. 14, wow, including the head. The parts are called segments. Segments. A caterpillar's head has eyes and a pair of feelers. It has a mouth and a and strong jaws for biting. 14 parts, I am shocked. I did not know that. Below a caterpillar's mouth is part called a spinneret, a spinneret. Something that looks like water comes out through their spinneret. It quickly hardens into a material that looks like string. The string helps the caterpillar stick to whatever it's crawling on. It's pretty interesting. There's its spinneret coming out of its mouth. A caterpillar's body can be smooth. It can also be covered with hair. A caterpillar has lots of legs too. A caterpillar grows, but its skin does not. When a caterpillar gets too big, its skin splits. The skin splits near the caterpillar's head and down its back. The caterpillar crawls out of the old skin. Now it wears new skin. This happens over and over as a caterpillar grows. Finally, the caterpillar grows as big as it can be. When this happens, it is ready for its next step. What's the next step? While hanging quietly from a twig or leaf, the caterpillar's skin splits for the last time. The skin falls off. Next, a hard shell called a chrysalis covers the caterpillar's body. Can you say chrysalis? So it goes chrysalis. So right there, that's a chrysalis. It's inside it. Now the chrysalis starts to turn into a butterfly. Wings start to form. So do eyes and long feelers. All but six legs disappear. About two weeks later, the chrysalis splits and the butterfly crawls out. At first, its body and wings are soft, but before long, they become strong. Then the beautiful butterfly flies away. Beautiful, certainly is. Let's see if you can tell me what happens. So, a butterfly starts from an egg, becomes a caterpillar, then a chrysalis, and finally a full-grown butterfly. That is called a butterfly life cycle. So, egg to caterpillar to chrysalis to butterfly. And now I know what a butterfly is. We do too. So, for a movement activity, I thought it would be fun to pretend and we're gonna go through all the stages of being a butterfly. So I'm gonna bring you over to my carpet. So first, I want you to pretend like you are an egg. So just lie there. 
Then they're gonna start popping out of the egg. And you are a caterpillar, so you can go all the way on the floor, and you can wiggle, you can eat, a bunch of leaves, and you're gonna get fatter and fatter and fatter until you can't eat anymore. So you're gonna move around, keep eating, And then when you're too fat and you can't eat anymore, you are gonna get ready and you're gonna shed that skin and you're gonna be a chrysalis. So I want you to roll on your back and pretend you're hanging upside down from a leaf. So I'm just gonna hang there. And you're gonna hang here for two weeks because that's how long they're in the chrysalis for. Then after two weeks, you start, it cracks open and you come out and you have to hang there and let your wings dry. And then when you're all dry and you're ready to fly, so you lose all of those legs but six, butterflies have six legs, then you're out and you're a butterfly. We're just gonna do 10 butterfly jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So those are butterfly movements. So you start as an egg, then you crawl around like a caterpillar and eat until you're really fat, and you can't eat anymore, and then you hang upside down on a leaf, and you're in your chrysalis, and you're shedding all that, have the chrysalis form, you shed all of that um, skin, wait two weeks, and then you become a butterfly. So we're gonna do lots of things about caterpillars this week and butterflies. So today for Science Monday, we, I'm out of breath even from just doing that. Whew. We are going to do, we're gonna make a lava lamp. So I'm gonna use a jar. You can use any jar, it can be fat, it can be small. I'm just gonna use this type of jar. You need a flashlight, food coloring. So I got all my assortment uh, food coloring options. You need canola oil. I don't have that much. So I'm going to also use vegetable oil, which I'm sure is fine. You need vinegar. The only vinegar I have is this rice vinegar, so that's what I'm going to use. And you need, if I can find it, baking powder. So I've never done this before, so let's see if it's going to work. So first, it says we're going to put three teaspoons of, um, of the baking powder in. So get your, th your teaspoon out. There you go. Just one teaspoon. Grab your baking powder, and we're going to do three. One. and three. So you have three tables or teaspoons, not tablespoons, three teaspoons baking powder. Then in a different jar or a bowl, it's gonna have a bowl, you're gonna grab the a half cup of vinegar is gonna go in here. But I'm gonna backtrack because I'm even losing my place right now. So we put three table or three teaspoons of baking powder in here, and then you're gonna fill halfway with canola oil or any oil before we even get our bowl out. So grab that jar again. I'm gonna take my oil and I'm gonna fill about halfway. Now take this, move it off to the side. Now grab your bowl and you're gonna do the vinegar. So a half cup of vinegar. So right now I don't have a half cup, but I have a fourth cup. 
So two fourth cups is gonna equal that half cup that we need. So instead of just one, we're gonna need two of these. Two fourths equals a half. So I'm gonna use the rest of this vinegar that I have. Then I'm gonna open my other one. in there. One. And two. So we have a half cup of vinegar total in this bowl. Then you can pick any color food coloring that you want. I am going to pick green. Do a couple drops, you can see it go in there. Take a spoon, stir it up. Okay, now it's time to combine them. I'm going to take the jar lid. You can start, you can see. Now you guys know from that first video that I ever did with the glove that baking soda and vinegar reacts with it kind of exploding and expanding. This one is baking powder and vinegar. So it doesn't have the same reaction, but you can see that it's kind of bubbling up. We are going to head into a bathroom, my bathroom, where we can, it's probably the darkest room that I have, so we can turn the flashlight on and see what this glowing looks like. Wait, maybe this would be better. Darkness here. Okay. I'm going to turn my flashlight on. And it kind of has, I'm going to shake it. Maybe I can get it build better. The reaction and all those bubbles are going up. So don't shake it. That was definitely a bad idea. One, I got vinegar all over my hand, which has an awful smell. And you can't really see it that great. But you saw in the beginning, it was um the... Baking powder was going up. It kind of looked like that really cool lava lamp. Yeah, it's kind of hard to, sh to tell. But yeah, we get the point. But anywho, we saw the reaction. It kind of looks cool. It's a baking powder lava lamp. Um, maybe you can try it in a really dark room. I just didn't have one. But thank you for joining me for this Science Monday. And check out my video that I'm also going to be posting today, which is a bonus video. And we're making sensory bottles. So thank you for joining me. And I will see you for math. Wait, not math. Alpha.